<laughs> Duh. Doop -doo -doo. All right, I was not prepared. The time got away from me. Water. Um, pen. Jewelry. Testers. Okay, we're good. We are good. Hey, Bubba. Hey, Bubba. What you doing, huh? Let's see. I can't see. Hey, Angela. Time got away from me. So I wasn't quite ready, but I'm ready. I'm as ready as I'll be. Boy, do I have a mess for myself this week. I'm surrounded in boxes. <laughs> oh, hey, my pal. I haven't seen you in a while. Appreciate you guys coming in. It's a really quiet day. It was cloudy this morning. It's still a little bit cloudy, but it's nice. Hey, Gail. So you guys doing anything for Easter? We're not. Not since kids. I mean. Hmm. When I was younger, we have such a big family. It was always like mobs of kids and hiding eggs and the whole nine yards. Everybody bringing a covered dish. It was the event. I always had to make the coconut cake. And I dye it green. And put the little ducks and other stuff on it. But everybody's grown. Everybody's off their own families, which I get. I think we all do that. If you guys don't mind, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And hit the thumbs up on your way in. And let's just start grabbing. I'm looking on this box still. I had more in the blue bag last night. The sterling. I was cleaning this out. If you guys want to start with a little sterling. Oh, well, thank you, Gail. I appreciate you guys doing that. Yeah, I'm just chilling. I've just been scrolling YouTube and piddling around. Dally thought about cutting my hair, decided not to. Okay, I don't remember where I got this, but it's pretty. <laughs> it is turquoise. It is sterling. I don't know if that hang tag is somebody in particular. But anyway, I'm way too far away. Hang on. Come to me, baby. Anyway. <laughs> Satago clasp. I don't, and that is all sterling. I'm going to assume that's turquoise. Denna. Kind of looks a little bali, but then again, I don't know. I have my Presidium going. Let's see if this is Obsidian or Onyx or what say you. And it goes up as glass, so tourmaline. Okay, so starting, does this mean something, this little hang tag? kind of think it does, but at the same time, I don't know. Let me make sure I'm remotely there. I mean, it's not the arrows, like for Sapata. I don't know. Anyway, on this one, it's pretty small. The second part hits three, six and three quarters, and the top one, yeah, I'm going to say six and a half, six and three quarters is where you're going to sit on this one. And I'll start this slow. I don't remember where I got it. <laughs> Mm -mm. It's a mystery. It's heavy. It's a lot of sterling in there. Mm. Considering I pay that much for a sterling toggle of that size. I have a bunch of stuff to fix story, but I just haven't sat down to do it. I get frustrated. My hands go numb. This is really pretty. Come here, hand. Earn your keep.
save my hands. It's really pretty. Hey, Lori. Anybody know what that hang tag is? The little... Those beads in between the tourmaline look very Balinese, right? I like the toggle. Happy Easter to you too, Lori. I'm not doing anything this year. I didn't even put up anything remotely to do with Easter. I barely do Christmas anymore. I did realize that have um, still have some poinsettias in my foyer and the big artificial arrangement when you walk in the foyer. I need to pull those poinsettias out. It'll be fine because it's roses. I see Angela at 26. It is very nice bracelet. Well made. I don't know if that hang tag is somebody or not. So, Gail, Angel's at 26. Are you coming back? So deadly quiet here. Okay, Gail's out. Start calling this for Angela. I'm going once. I'm going twice. And sold to Angela at 26. Thank you, sweetheart. It's funny how I always find just random stuff from Christmas, you know, just random weird stuff, just sitting somewhere, a cup hidden in the cabinet. I got ornaments hanging on each of the china cabinets. I didn't realize it till the other day when I was switching stuff around. <laughs> oh, thank you, Angela. And thank you for your bid scale. This is gorgeous. I don't think this is marked, but yeah. The back will tell you everything you need to know. The back is, is as impressive as the front. Fan freaking tasket, huh? Check this out. It's milk glass. I love this. It's so pretty. So well made. Beautiful. It's got a nice dome. Nice layering. So I'm going to start this. I'll start at 25. I try to get hold of it so my fingers aren't so much in the way. Oh, I'm sorry, horse lover. Just saw it. Yeah, just send your YouTube name, your real name, your full address, and your PayPal email. Um, I also can take Cash App or Venmo. Um, and send it to Melly's Jewelry Box at Gmail. This is gorgeous. I love the swedging on the back. The plating is fantastic. Some of the, the round, big oval ones are bezel set. These are bezel set, these big ones. Everything else is prong set, except for these really big guys. It's not poured glass. No, it's, it's not. Hey, Doris. It's a beautiful one. Let me get a measure on that. Okay. It's two, almost two and a quarter, like two and an eighth. It's probably a little longer this way. And two and a quarter at its longest from point to point here to here. And your clasp is up here. The construction is really good. 
the sledging. The construction on this is really great. These are, let me see, I think these are full back, but let me just double check. I don't want to fib. No, actually they're not. They're just open. These are open. Thank you, horse lover. So I'm going to say going once, going twice, and going back to me. Back to me. So pass in on the milk glass. I'm surprised. That's a really beautiful piece. I mean, the condition, it's cabinet condition. This is pretty. This is costume. There's no signature on it. It's I don't know. You just think it'd be anywhere between 70s and 90s. It's kind of a timeless motif. You know, the swan. Really pretty. Again, it's fairly recent. I'll start in bed on this one at 8. Very pretty. He does have a red eye. He does have a red eye. So shiny. <laughs> it's not cooperating, is it? That's better. I see Lori at eight. It's not old, but it's very well made. Let me get you a size on this. Let me see Lori at eight. It's two inches. Yeah, it's two inches both ways. Very pretty. It's substantial, so it's not going to go on something lightweight. Unless, you know, I was watching um, Sunday Brunch, and she had such a clever idea of taking a, you know, a small piece of, of fabric, you know, like a cotton, something that's sturdy but thin, and put it behind the clothing to put your brooch on. I thought that was clever. I enjoy watching her shows, Sunday Brunch. Um, God, why is her name completely escaped me? That's terrible. Anyway, very informative. I'm going to call this for Lori. Going once to Lori, going twice to Lori. And so, thank you, Lori. Ah, there's a bag. The sun just busted out. We had the pool heater on, but then it just kept raining and getting cold and aggravating. This is so pretty. This is acrylic and faux seed pearls and like blue glass. Again, this is not old. It's just beautiful and well made. Just a nice one. Nice size. This is a type of acrylic. It feels... Almost like faux amber, honestly. It feels that kind of really... Oh, it is. It... Yeah. It's faux amber of some type, some type of plastic reconstituted or something. I'll show you because you can't really see the distance what I'm talking about with this particular thing. Where am I at? Those brown things, they, they do glow, but I think they're just the plastic. At best, maybe some type of composite. Don't know, but they go. <laughs> no, Lori, because nothing has a high price. So, anyway, if you ever need help, all you gotta do is let me know. I'll put you on a payment plan. <laughs> anyway, I forgot to give a price on this. Isn't that gorgeous? 
Um, I have to write the last one. So I don't know how to get this to keep my chat so you can replay the chat. I haven't figured that out yet. I'm going to start bid on this one. Um, I'll start at low. I'll start at 10. So you got blue glass here, you see beads. There's a lot of great detail on this. Really pretty. It's kind of cool that those glow, huh? All right, you're back. It's too shiny. Too shiny. Well, I'm glad I shined it just to see because, man, it glows like crazy. It glows like crazy green. So faux amber. Plastic amber. Get in there. Oh, open it first would help. Okay. There we go. So pretty. Let me give you a measurement because he's pretty big. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. Yeah, he's two and a half inches. And his top. Oh, <laughs> his, his wings, the top of his wings up here. <laughs> I just sent stuff flying. <laughs> What's your wingspan, my man? It's actually smaller. Oh, because they kind of come up. Okay. <laughs> it's two and a half. Um, Gemma. I'm assuming the one with the multiple gemstones. Yes, it is. I'll have to find it. It's probably in the cabinet. But um, did you use the Melly's Jewelry Box at Gmail? Just check the my description and has the email and stuff in there. Anyway, where were we? Lori is at 10 on this. <laughs> now that I tried to knock everything off my table. A lot of detail on this thing. All the little flower heads. I like the color of the that blue and green popping in. Really pretty. Two and a half inches. Excellent condition. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I know the one, sweetie. Just, you know, email me again. Because when I check my emails, I get everything. Spam it all. Because I can, you know, search by Gemma's. I should find you or Antoinette. I mean, I would be able to find it somewhere. So just email me. I'll get it. And then I keep a, a separate folder just for subscribers. So it's easy to find people. But there you got Lori's going to steal this at 10. Going once for Lori. Going twice for Lori. And so, thank you, Lori. That was a good pickup. That is really beautiful. It's beautiful, honey. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you again. All right. These are cool. I wore them a few times. Who did I get these from? I don't remember. Either, Pat, either Patricia at Patsy Craftsy or Misty. I'm not sure. These are cool. Very, very cool. I did wear them. I've worn them both ways. The large bead in the front and the small bead in the front. They're these guys. And this is um, enamel. Really nicely done. So this is, you know, you decide... Your front and back. I mean, technically, this would be your front. And then the larger bead is in the back. These are super cool. And they do fit in this little box. <laughs> Not that you're going to lose the backs, but I think they came in the box so they can live in the little box. So these are cool. Very cool. It's hard to show these. 
Yeah, I guess it's kind of greenish. I'm telling you, I was unprepared. I'm in my Sunday best here. <laughs> I'm in my house dress. <laughs> so these are very cool. So I'll start these earrings. I'll start these at 10. I don't want to try to get in my ears. They're so short. I have really super, super fat ears. I need a longer post. I mean, I've worn them, but it's tight. It's tight. Yeah, they do. They match everything. They'll match your wardrobe as well. I don't know how to show these. I'll put one big bead up and one small bead up. Yeah, that works. Well, you get the idea. Well, hi, Tammy. Happy Easter to you, too. These are a great shape. The enamel's perfect. They're really nice. If the posts were longer, I'd keep them, but they're, it's close. To keep them closed, because I have such a fat earlobe. The earrings aren't short. My ears are just big. <laughs> Okay, so I see no interest in these. I'm kind of going once. Going twice. Last call for alcohol. And so back to me. This is a weird one. It is sterling silver. And it says Simba, S I M B A. Yeah, it's a Disney thing, but it's not Simba. It's. I think they're ostriches and not emus because they're tails. Okay, I've really looked at this. I've really thought about this. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I see Gail's in at 10. Yeah, these are pretty. Really pretty. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Gail. Let me get you a bag. Thank you, madam. Thank you, Angela, too, for the heads up. Okay. Anyway, this is a weird cat. It is sterling. It says Simba. S-I-M-B-A is the only mark on the back. I say they're ostriches because of the way their tails tuft and the way these wings come down, the way the tails tuft. I don't think they're emus. And I think there were ostriches in um, maybe The Lion King or one of those jungle movies. But it's all sterling. I mean, if someone does the Disney thing, it just says Simba right there on the clasp. That's it. I don't know. I'm going to scrap it if nobody wants it because it's heavy. And I don't, I mean, yeah, I don't feel bad about scrapping it because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's 14.57 grams. So, and this is all sterling. It's craziness. I don't know about the, the clasp here, but the body of it, front and back, and the little dudes, because they're kind of 3D off of there. Yeah, I've rubbed them, too. I rubbed everybody. This is oxidized. That's going to stay that way. So, on this little guy, how about a dollar a gram? We'll start him at $15. A dollar a gram. There you go. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm melting this bad boy. He's going in the scrap. I don't get it. The ostriches. And I've asked some people who are more Disney kind of people. They had no idea either. Like, what's up with that? Nobody knows. Obviously, somebody does. Those ostriches mean something to somebody. I'm trying to get this thing unlocked. Good great. They locked it like Fort Knox. I'm going to poke it back here where I've got the seam. Hey, whatever you want them to be, babe. But they have something to do with Lion King because the back is signed Simba. I'm upside down. Where am I? The back is signed. This is not working. The back is signed Simba. <laughs> 
I don't know. Could be sandhill cranes because those are indigenous to Africa, I think. To the continent. I'm not sure what country. It's probably, I would think, near the deserts. Maybe on the plains. Yeah. On the plains. It's very nicely done. <laughs> Somebody did say, yeah, there were ostriches in the movie, but they didn't have a big role. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a Disney person. I mean, the olden days, yeah. I had all those VHS tapes. Pete's Dragon, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White. And the seven doors. I don't see anybody. All right, dude, you're headed. He's going to the pile. He's headed to the pile. What are you? Oh, these are so pretty. I've got five dollars, Angela, on this bag. There we go. That way we don't get confused. I don't get confused. These are so funny. I brought these as sterling, <laughs> but they are beautiful um, rose quartz. <laughs> They're probably plated. They're beautiful. I wore them for years. They are so pretty. And there's no sparkles around here. It's just like a rope work design on the halo and the faux um, pearl. And really pretty rose quartz. These are really pretty on. I do like these. I used to wear them a lot. I just haven't worn them. And I brought them as being sterling. And they're not. <laughs> these are so pretty. And I've gotten my wear out of them. I've worn these for years and years and years. And they're in great shape because they lived in my jewelry box until I brought them to sale. They're pretty long. I think it's a couple inch drop on these i'll start these at 10 that's cheap for these they have a good way they're well made i mean they look sterling maybe i just need to rub it harder maybe it's rhodium but i'm not gonna worry about it, it looks like it is marked i remember rubbing it and not getting it but it could be rhodium plated i don't i don't care no it's not you know what it is it's stainless it says 31 I think 312L S steel, 318L maybe something. Anyway, it's good stainless steel. No wonder they're so pretty. Remember the stainless steel was all the rage and like, I think it was like the early 2000s and the stuff was selling for like sterling prices and higher. It was selling high. These are really pretty. Let me get a drop on these. I think they're right at a couple of inches. Come here, you. They're still mm, like one and three quarters. Gales at 10. They are really, 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 really pretty. I need to find some bags. So I use the ones that have the plastic thing around the post to hold those flat. I've got a bag of them. I don't see anybody else. I'm going to start calling these for Gail. And going once. Going twice. Last call. And so to Gail at 10. Thank you, ma'am. They're very pretty. You'll enjoy them. They're really pretty. They look so good with pearls or with pink or like with the greens, blues. They're just those pretty, that pretty pastel pink color. Almost forgot to put your name on it, ma'am. Pretty, pretty. Thank you. Oh, ostriches. Yes. Oh, ostriches. Go figure. Who knows about the ostriches? I don't. 
I have a, anybody interested in some stainless steel rings? I have a whole bag of costume silver plated rings and a bunch of stainless steel rings. There's a mix. A mix of those. Ooh, this is pretty. I need to get out of here. It should be in a box. This has got to be a Nolan Miller. It should be in a box. Yep, Nolan Miller. Thailand. This is beautiful. Talk about bling, 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 baby. It's got larger stones of the pistula. Because these look like a spaz lily. Here's your back. It's immaculate. I will start him at 18. Let me see if I can find a nice box. Besides, my foot's tingling. I've got it up, but it's still... I was being lazy this morning, so... I, but let me go get a box for that, because I don't want to stick it in a bag. All right, I think it'll fit in here. Sorry about that. Oh, I guess Tanya's right. Yes, we up here. I can't see you. I can't see you. Hey, Tanya. Bling, bling. So Nolan Miller. I started this at 18. Lori's at 18. It's really pretty. Let me get you a measurement on it. And it's two and a quarter inches long. And then, and then, one and a half inches at its widest. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I got Lori at 18. It's really pretty. I like the way the stones, the larger stones are running up. Really pretty. I don't see anybody else. I'm going to start calling this for Lori. Going once to Lori. Twice to Lori. Last call. And so Lori at 18. I think this box will work. I'm going to have to take something like tie it down. But for the moment, for the moment, it's fine. A little locking box. I don't want to put tape on it, so. Where's Lori, right? Uh... Okay, what's in the box? I'm working right out of the box. Okay, now the butterflies felt stabbed the living shit out of myself. I love the enamel work on this. Are those stones in his little eyeballs? Nope. Silver dots. It's kind of that weird color, like in between silver and gold tone. It's like, look, silver tone kind of looks gold tone. I'm going to say silver tone. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. I forget what they call that. It's not dragging, feathering. A feather. Cool. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to mark the Nolan Miller sword, and then I will start this one. 
He's really nice. Hey, shut it back. This would be beautiful as a pendant. We'll try it. Um, I'm going to start this one at eight. Absolutely gorgeous colors. I love that feathering. I love when they do that. That's beautiful enamel work. Very clean. When you look at your edges, how when enamel work's done, if it's messy, that tells you a lot. And I look for it being really clean to the all the way to the edges. I see Gail at eight. Thank you, Gail. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Let's just try it with a torque. No. Have to have an adapter. See Gala 8. Hi, Jason. <laughs> it's not you, Jason. <laughs> that was just auspicious timing. I love the enamel on this one. Just really nicely done. Very clean. Um, thank you, Jason. Happy Easter to you, too. I'm going to call this once, going twice, going three times for Gail, and sold. And there's something in this bag. I went to grab a bag to put that in. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Thank you very much, Gail. That's really beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what's next in the bag? These are really nice. It's a gold plate, and they're the Lyra, and it has the black jersey at the top. Um, supposed to be black diamonds. Um, they are open in the back. I've had these forever, but they're the Italian lira. What are they? Two lira. Okay. And they are gold plate. I might need to test these. These might be for me. I'm not sure. I've had them a long time. I just haven't worn them. But I'm looking at them again like, I really kind of dig these earrings. That light's just too much, isn't it? But you can see. Yeah, I need a light. How the back is. And it's all open. I think these are from like the 80s, maybe 90s. I can't remember when I bought them. Oh, these are donuts, but no. See, I've slept since I bought these things. I need backs. I'm so bad about backs. But I don't feel so bad because everybody, well, a lot of people don't have backs. So, yeah, no way in hell is this anything. It's not diamonds. It's not anything. It's tourmaline at best. Yeah, it's tourmaline. Huh. Glad I checked. The sparkle's not there. I knew when I looked at it, it's like, no, nah, it's not a freaking diamond. It's not even a spinel. It doesn't have the shine. But they are very cool. Oh, I never put a price on these. I'll start these. I've got my wear out of them. I'll start them low at 10. The B Lira earrings. They're a thing. The light's really weird. It's like, why would this be in shadow? It's clouds keep going by outside. Oh, yeah, that French doors are lights coming in from. I know, I'm not showing these with the darn. With the darn. Please focus, camera. It's like, I'm too shiny, man. I'm too shiny. No, 
nice earrings. I wore the death out of these. They do look nice on. Very dressy. Simple. Understated dressing. <laughs> There's just something about that black with the gold. I don't know. It has a certain look. Well, hey, Pam. I don't see anybody else. I'm going to start calling these for Lori at 10. Going once. Oops. <laughs> Going twice. So, Lori. Thank you, ma'am. If I remember, I'll dig for those earring bags. I, always, I buy all this stuff and then lose it. Not lose it. I put it in a box and then that's it. It's gone. I'm really awful right now. I'm ready to do some big lots. <laughs> These are very, very vintage. Very, very early clip-ons and oh, my stone just fell out oh, one of the little rivoli stones from the top just fell out hey dude i know you're old but they're really old look at these that's your clip <laughs> i know old old uh, another stone just fell okay uh. Oh no. Well, I got lucky and it's right here. Uh, all right, those have to go. Somebody who wants to fix them. I'm not going to try to do it. Okay, I think these are a bunch of cufflinks. Let's see if we got matches. Ooh, these are super nice. I don't know if anybody's into cufflinks, but these are very nice. And they are a good grief. I can't read that. Maybe Dixon? Does that make sense? No. Why a Z E I don't know. I can't make it out. I'm sorry. But check these out. Let me see. I think it's a dragon. What else is going on here, man? Okay. Cufflinks. These are amazing. I this box is too big. Very cool. I wish I could read the mark. Mark's up in here. Let me see if the other one is legible. V A or V N V A V A T Y or Y A T Y. Sorry, guys. Gemma, honey, I call that sold a while uh, before you bid on the um. What was that? I think it was the B earrings. Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. All right, so these cufflinks. Um, I'm gonna start the cufflinks. These are really nice. I'm going to start these at 12. I don't know that signature, but these are super cool. Very unique. Very nice men's cufflinks. Or women's. It's by French cuff shirts. Just have them cut it in your size. And they can, they can alter it and make it form-fitting. 
Oh, look, it's got a mark on the back. I bet that's more legible. I hope. It's a patent number, which is good because you could find this. Patent 29203363. Mystery marks on this thing. Fantastic. And these got a good size, too. Probably close to an inch, I'm going to guess. And they are, yeah, just shy of an inch. They're like, um, seven eighths. Twelve on the cufflinks. I had some people supposed to be here that like cufflinks. I thought maybe they might be um, lurking and not in the chat. Those are fabulous cufflinks. Fantastic. I don't see any interest. I don't think I'm going to show the rest of these cufflinks because if someone liked cufflinks, I think it would be those. I got some cool ones, like some chess pieces. And then the mason. Do you have two of the masons? Yeah. I have two of the masons. The chess pieces. The eastern star. The masons. And this is cute. It's a carriage. Oh, this is a single. And a stick pen. I don't know if that's a go tone or what. So I'm going to save these for if anybody wants to see cufflinks. You know I have them. You know I have them. This is a nice set. I think this is one of the lots I got from Tanya. I think. Don't quote me. Because I'm guessing that that's where they came from. And they got separated from the group because I was oohing and on over them. I bought a necklace real similar like this from her that was a reverse carved cameo this one isn't car but it is the amber glass very 70s with this clip with this veil that's the push thing this is 70s screams 70s big time there's your chain it's kind of that satin matte gold and do we have a clasp yes we have a spring ring let me check this because it has that kind of gold fill color to it. Nada. Nada. A smidges. There's the pendant and necklace. I'll give you a link on that. And it comes with the clip on earrings. I don't see any marks at all, but they're nicely made. So it's a set, and I'll get you links on that. Earrings are clip-ons, and they need to turn around. Dude, dude, come on, what are you doing? There you go. So it's the pendant, necklace, if it would stay turned around, and the earrings that match. I give you a link on this one. I feel like I'm moving in slow mo today, which is a possibility. It is 24 inches long, and the pendant from the bail to the bottom is two and three quarter inches. And then the earrings come back here. Okay. The earrings are about one and a half. I'm going to put this on my neck. There's no way I'm going to hold this up for you guys. Where'd you go? You're huge. How could you go like MIA? A giant bust. Oh, there it is. Poor thing needs wiped down. I've had dirty fingers grabbing her in the back. Her front's eh. Meh. She needs a bath. I'm going to double this just so you can see the pendant. 
<laughs> guys i'm sorry <laughs> i'm really i'm really klutzing around i'm klutzing around guys klutzing around all right so on this set really really pretty kind of heavy well made amber glass go tone i'll start the bid on the set at 20. that's good price for this it's a really good price for this Let's see if i can do this without catastrophe because i'm a catastrophe not waiting to happen not waiting to happen man Mike's working on the MG, like the day, the day I get back from Savannah, it's the car show. I'm like, I'm not even sure I'll make it in time. He may end up going by himself, or maybe I can, I can cut through, I can go through um, Crystal River on the way home from Savannah. It's not that big a deal to cut over. Of course, I'll tell that to my <laughs> two sisters and niece. <laughs> It's no big deal. Just cross the state. <laughs> just cross the state. No big deal. This is gorgeous, huh? Really pretty. I love the way the light shines through the orange. It's really bright. Very rich looking. The color. The gold tone. Oh, do I have empty bags? Yay. Yay, a bunch of them. There we go. I don't see any interest in that. Let's take this down. Um, it keeps closing. Would you stop, please? How did you get hooked on the chain so hard? I had never tried this set on. Oh, the clips are good. Hey, hold on tight. Just bear with me. I'm allowed to play. I didn't wear any jewelry. I was taken off guard, honestly. I was not ready. Time just got away from me. And before I know it, it was time to start. So I'm just grabbing out of the bag. I'm just winging it today. I'm winging it. This does not match what I'm wearing, but do I care? No, I quite frankly don't. There you go. Now I'm glamorous. This says ST Rose Ring. Certainly not sterling. No. Silver Tone. It's a beast. This needs to go in a lot or something. That's a monster. Looks like pewter, but doesn't have the weight. And it's big. I know that's some funky stuff in here. Uh, a little bit of everything. It's an eight and a half. An eight and a half. So anything else is kind of off guard or uh, different. Yeah, that needs something. That needs something. This needs something. Chains or bracelets or something like that. Something like that. Okay. So there's this, it's a seashell and they dip it in sterling silver. It does have a sterling little, it does have the jump ring there. So it's ready for a necklace or a bracelet or whatever you want to do with it. So you got the size eight and a half rose, you got this pendant and this is Rick's pick. I don't remember anymore anything about this. It's 10 karat gold fill. 6.63 grams and is this marked how did i know this i've had this a long time the bill is open so it's ready to be put on something and shut i don't know how i knew it was gold filled but it needs a chain or something so we got two pendants and that ring because that's what's in the box that's what's in here. That's what we're doing. And how about for these three together? I'm just going to do it by it now. Anybody wants the um, the ring, 
the shell pendant and the Rick's pick. It's a guitar pick. The veil is open. You just have to put it on something and close it. It says it's gold filled. I don't know. Did I know this for a fact? I don't know. I've had that forever. I'm going to put these in here. I'm not worried about enough to sit here and rub it to test it either. I had Angela in first at five for the ring, the shell, and the guitar pick. So Angela's at five first. Laura, you want to go six? I see Lori at six. She goes on and on and on. Strangers. Wait a Oh, yeah, it was a bite now. Angela got it at five. Doris, you're a doll. I'm over here picking through the box. <laughs> I'm totally distracted. <gasps> Yeah, it was a buy it now. Good thing somebody's paying attention. Thank you, Angela. And thank you, Lori. And thank you, Doris. Thank you, everyone, for babysitting me. I appreciate it. It takes a village, especially with Spacey Mill. Spacey Mill. All right, this is a really rare, unusual thing. I can't find anything like it. Obviously, someone made it. With some club or something. I've tried to look up this manufacturer to no end. It's Stacy, S T A C Y. Very rudimentary. Someone put this together. And it's the Martin Luther King Jr. It's wear on the gold tone. But that Maltese cross and being MLK, if you know anything about the 50s and 60s and the organizations and the clubs, it's not too hard to connect that Maltese cross and some of the organizations that would have been definitely admiring MLK Jr. So I'm going to just start on this one. I don't know, six bucks. I know nothing about it. I tried to research the maker of this, but clearly this is probably put together by some fraternity or club or, or some organization. And it is that convex glass. It's old, 50s or 60s, no doubt, considering the subject matter. Considering the subject matter, darling. So MLK Jr., Maltese Cross. Obviously, you can change that. There is a, I don't know if I'd call it a screw. There's like a rivet hole looking thing in the back. You might be able to pull these back around the edge. Not sure. Not sure. I didn't build it. I just thought it was interesting. So I pick up weird stuff. What can I tell you? I thought it might mean something to somebody. My old Gen X self. I like the glass in that. So, yeah, you could take him out and put whatever you want in there to venerate. Venerate. Venerate yourself, somebody, or something with a Maltese crust and convict's glass. Or is it plastic? Inquiring minds want to know. I bet it's plastic. Considering the, yeah, it's plastic. Considering the quality of this cross. I mean, it's not, it's not horrible, but it's, yeah. Just base metal coated with the gold tone, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, MLK, my man. Should I put him in a lot? Oh, I don't want to decide now. I don't want to decide now. I ain't throwing you down there. You might break. You might break. This is cool. Very cool. This is an old belt buckle. I can't find one like it. I can find pioneers, you know, on the range and 
when there's stage coaches and horses and the guy playing guitar, but not with the four relief clovers in the corners. It's clearly Irish. Yes. So there's the sunset behind him. He's tossing up his hat. He's sitting back there strumming the guitar. He's cooking stew. There's your wagon. And all the four-leaf clovers. Is that crazy? It's a nice big brass, too. It's not signed. There's your back. It's brass. It's nice. It's big. Oh, don't throw a bag over there. You need bags. Put them over here. Oh. I keep burying this thing. Okay. It is not quite three and a half inches. I'm going to say three and a quarter inches long by two inches deep. And that's what I paid for it. I bought it on a whim. I just thought it was really cool. I don't even know how to keyword it. Irish. Irish. Frontier. It's so unique. It's just a weird, a weird thing. I thought it would find a niche. I haven't listed it. Maybe it would find a niche. Irish cowboy. Irish pioneer. Look at the Irish on the trail. They didn't go to Donner Pass. My arms get tired. <laughs> Wish I had a chain for this. I don't see any interest. All right, I will try it. I will stick it online just, just to see. Is it going to find a niche audience? Maybe. Maybe not. This is Drop Dead Gorgeous. I wish I had a chain to go on it. I had a bunch of sterling chains. The sterling would look bonkers on this. I think. Eh, not bad. We'll stick it on the sterling. Why not? Why not? If I can get the spring ring open, it's a teeny tiny spring ring. All right, we'll put on a chain. It, it's pretty enough to warrant a sterling chain, even though it's not sterling. It's just base metal, but loaded with beautiful AB crystals. So it can have a, a sterling chain. Sure, why not? Knock yourself out. Look how pretty it is. I stuck it on the chain. It, basic chain. Check this guy out. Oh, it's not showing you its colors. It's not showing off all its pink. I'm looking at it and I see so much pink and blue and it's not showing me the pink and blue. Like these little stones here. Where am I? Here are pink. All glass. So pretty. Pink and clear. Gorgeous cross. So pretty. It's okay with the sterling chain, right? Because it's pretty enough. It's pretty enough. All right, so we have to pass on the last thing, the belt buckle. The big honking belt buckle. And on this, I'll start this at 15. How's that? <laughs> Basically, the pendant's free. <laughs> or the chain's free, one or the other. Oh, I'm trying to get my foot up. I need to get some potassium because bananas go bad so fast. I'm trying those green bags. They don't work. That's a joke. Really pretty. There's the bag. Uh, just totally custom. It's pretty cool. Got a nice big stone up here. I assumed it's all glass. I know these are the AB ones. Uh, what about these little pink guys? Oop. Glass. And the guy up here? Glass. Okay. Just making sure.
There's a big sterling piece in here. I will bring it only because why not? Only because why not? Is that a good reason? I think it's perfectly logical. Because <laughs> it's in the box. So therefore, I can show it. Right? Right. Gorgeous at 15. I didn't measure it. Dita. Dita. See if I can do this without knocking everything over. No. Of course, the tape measures under here. Of course, it is. And there goes a butterfly. I don't see any interest in this anyway, and I'm about to crash everything, screwing around with it. Oh. That is so pretty. I just don't wear a crossing anymore. I guess I could. They're pretty. They're pretty. Lovely. It's pretty big. Probably close to two inches. If he's not two inches, let's see. The cross itself, well, yeah, it's two and three quarter inches long and one and three quarter inches wide. It's a beautiful cross on sterling. I'm like, we're going to pass that back to me. Okay, what else we got? This is not costume, this is um, sterling and carnelian and tons of sterling and more carnelian and then these are jade up here i don't know how this got in this box this was supposed to be listed this bar has three like little flower heads they're like dots that form like a daisy head that's the only way i can explain it Yep, five dots are like a daisy head. Don't know. It's a jump ring. This is tribal. I'm going to just, I don't know, is it Tibetan? Maybe because of this carved jade. Because the design's on the carved jade. And just the design in, in general. That's all sterling. Carnelian. And this is all... Just hand stamped. Look at this thing. It's huge. And it's heavy. And I forgot to ever even list it. <laughs> but I've tested it. It's a nice one. So on <laughs> Char, the 15. What was the last thing? Oh, the cross. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's gorgeous, Char. I love this. I think it's really pretty. Thank you, Angela. You're a doll. You're a doll. Thank you, Char. And thank you again, Angela. That's twice you've saved my butt. Oops. I need the paper so I wouldn't chase it down. <laughs> Thank you so much, sweetie. You'll love that in person. It's pretty. I know the stones are missing or anything. All right. I know we're not, I wasn't doing a sterling show, but this is in the box. I might as well just show it to you. And I can start this really low because of where I got it in a huge lot. So my cost per, my grams and my pieces. I don't know if these flower heads mean anything. It's just like three flower heads and they're just dots like five dots and then a dot in the middle that's it there's three going down each side of this it's like a um not an obelisk yeah, it could be it's not pointed at the top though uh try not to hit my keyboard it has a triangular this is all hand done that's why if you can look at this pin how regular this is all handmade very tribal. Very nice. That's a stupid low price. I've got the, if anyone's interested, I have the one that's tribal. That's Bakelite, Amber, Turquoise, and it's all sterling. I have one that's another tribal one. That's like that. With the Bakelite and the Amber big beads and big turquoise beads. 
Okay, it's 24, it's 11 inch drop to the top of the huge pendant. So you're looking at 22 inch there. And then the pendant itself is three inches long. Probably by three. It looks pretty um, symmetric. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Can barely get over the can't get over the glasses. <laughs> or the ears. <laughs> oh my vision is blurry when I take these off. Very cool. Yeah. It's not too awful heavy. I mean, it's heavy. I didn't give you a weight. I should give you a weight. Because it's heavy. My hair is a mess. Let me give you a weight on this. This part is super heavy. And then this, because of the jade. Sixty five point nine seven grams. So almost sixty six grams. These the jade aren't too horrible heavy. But you do have a lot of a lot of silver. Because all these are sterling as well. All these little beads. These are all sterling. All these little beads in between here. That's all sterling. So you've got a ton of sterling weight in this piece. All these are sterling. Of course, this is sterling. And so is your clasp. So that's a great price for this piece. I need to get this listed. I didn't know it wasn't. I haven't been paying attention to my online at all. I've been so bad about it. Okay, let's do some butterflies. Butterflies. You like a butterflies. So, I think I have mates for these. Let me see. Mm. I have so many butterflies. Don't you go with him? Yes, you do. I just don't want to split them up if I have pairs. I like make sure I keep them together. I'm finding stuff. I'm finding stuff. Ooh, cool stuff. Okay, no more butterflies. All right. So we'll start with the enamel ones. I have two enamel ones. This is not marked. It is swedged in the back. It is enamel with the texturing here. The texturing on his body. And it is swedged. And there's a little bit of play in your swedge, not much. I've seen a lot worse, but it does have a tiny bit of movement. So you got this butterfly. And I'll pair it with this other because it's also enamel. So they'd be cute together, you know, on a shirt, a like jacket, a hat, to use them like scatter pins since they're since they're similar. Similar but different. So this one is also enameled with a nice pretty pale yellow. And here's your back. It is well made. Both of these are very well made. So we'll do the two butterflies. So we're going to pass on the, I'm going to guess, I don't know, Tibetan, Ethiopian? I don't know. Um, so I'm going to start a bit on the two. Hang on, this is signed. Who are you? Oh, this is a Napier, this one. Uh, so I'll start these two together at, um, I'll start at seven. Stupid low, but it's okay. So this one's Napier, this one's unsigned, but this one's swedged. They're both substantial and the enamel's nice. 
So two butterflies together, and they're good size. They're not teeny tinies. So the orange and cream one is one and three quarters inches tall by two and a quarter wide. The Napier Air is two and a half wide by one and a half long. So you got this pair. And this is a Napier Air. This one is swedged. Both beautiful condition, good size. They're not they're not dinky. They're not dinky at all. Not at all. Yeah. Cute. Cute, cute. Uh so two. Oh, and we have mesh one and he's sort of similar not the same but similar so this is the mesh with the little go tone flower here fish it back and we'll pair it with another one I see Angela at seven on the first set. We're gonna, I'll wait. I see Angela at seven for the first pair of the enamel with the napier and the wedge swedge back. Let's start calling that for Angela. Going once, going twice. I'm going to call that sold to Angela at seven. Thank you, babe. They're pretty. Put them body to body so they don't scratch each other. Keep that enamel pretty. They're so stuck together. Thank you. I'm going to do these two at starting only at five for your mesh and the one that's um, filigree. So these two at five. Can't do that. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty, huh? Very pretty. Decent size, too. These. On the very, very mesh one. Oops. It is one and three quarters long by one and seven eighths wide. The filigree one is one over one and a half inches tall and two inches wide so this is two inches this way and this one's two inches tall so they're about this he's a little over two inches tall so he's bigger very pretty very great condition on these the class lock very well they work well these feel like, I don't know, probably acrylic. I don't know, the blue stones. I see Char at five for the two. I was watching gardening this morning about um, which plants, you know, to be hardy perennials, ones that are going to come back every year. My husband cut down my oldest perennial in the yard. It was a gardenia bush. It wasn't the big ones. It was the tiny little white ones that smell so good. They smell like a jasmine. They get little red berry seeds. He chopped it down. Never said a word to me. Just chopped it down. Like That was the oldest perennial, and it bloomed every year, and I had just trimmed it. He just cut it down. And I'm going to call these two um, Goton Butterflies for Char at five. Thank you, sweetheart. 
All these bags have so much writing on them. I gotta remember to sit down and order Amazon. I probably have a bag of bags somewhere. I thought I did anyway. These are so pretty. These are very lightweight. But they're solid. I don't know how to describe it. Make sure you're closed and locked so you don't stab me. And they're, they're a pair. I can't get hold of it. It's a little. It's a pair. It's so pretty. Let me get closer. Let me get closer to you. Come on. I love that detail. I love the dots. That one little spot there. And this is the smaller one. Just a little replica. Let me give you measurements on these. They're so cute together. Because they are identical. Just small, one smaller than the other. This one's one in... Yeah, it's another one that's like one and seven eighths inch. No, two and seven eighths inch wide. And right at two inches tall. And then the baby is like an eighth over the one and a quarter. <laughs> I'm terrible with saying these fractions. And one inch is tall. So. <laughs> And I'll start the bid on these two. I'll start them at five, which is low because these are really adorable. I don't see any marks on them, but these are in good shape and they're really pretty. I mean, they're just, yeah. That's simple. Sometimes simple is, is better. It's a little classier, I think, sometimes. Yeah, I like the gold tone, especially on white. Very pretty. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. That's very cute. Very pretty. Thank you for staying in my lap. Lights a bit much, isn't it? Oh, I see it here. I have really got a pretty finish on them. That gold is really, really pretty. <sighs> what you think about that? I find something else pretty to pull. That's a classic one. I don't see any interest in the book of lies. Really pretty. Both of them for five. They're a pair. Or if I could get one of those um, floral sticks and just attach this and like have it in the like sticking out the top of my um I wouldn't do it with ones of water. I would put it in my I have birds in that arrangement, but I could switch out birds for butterflies. And that gold would catch your eye, huh? I know I'm psycho. <laughs> We're gonna pass on the butterflies. This is a classic. Heavy duty gold plated painted metal roses. It's got a hang tag. Who claimed you? It's got a lobster claw. Who claimed you, dear? Be still. I don't know. L E or if I turn it the other way.
something over M. <laughs> And the other way would be a three. I don't know. But it's lobster claw. It's vintage. And it's beautiful gold plating. It's heavy. It's really made well. I'll shade it back. And the beautiful metallic roses. It is pretty. It's one of those things that's prettier on than it is on the rack. A lot of clothes that way. They look like shit on the rack and look great on. Or they look really good on the rack and look like crap on. <laughs> Check this out. This is super well done. Here's your let me get it flipped around. Come on, baby. You know you wanna. <laughs> I have to hold it. Really, really well done. Great work. Let's see how big it is. Six and a half. Yep. I can dislocate my thumb. Get in there. Almost. Really pretty. I'm not going to try to undo it to get it on my hand. Uh, it won't go on her either. I have to undo it. <laughs> I'm not going to try to undo it right now. I'm going to start this one. This is gorgeous. I have to start this at 8. That is so pretty. I'll put it on because you got to see it on. It looks looks good on. It's really pretty. So I do it for you. I do it. I need to cut my nails. They're becoming problem children. Let me start over. Have this ready. Let me have this ready, Freddy. Oops, I went the wrong way with it. Wish I could get it over my hand. Life would be good because I'm so uncoordinated at this. I got to tell you. Wish I had like a quick adapter magnet is pop on these things to try them on if i get it on what if i can't get the damn thing off <laughs> okay we're just gonna hold it on that note it just does it just looks pretty on it wears better than it looks on the rack for sure really pretty really pretty on hey girlfriend <laughs> I'm not too good at showing this stuff, huh? It's really pretty. This thing was just built so well. It feels good on because of that back, the way it's just so smooth. It feels comfortable on because of how that's made. Extremely well done. Really pretty. And show you the detail on those flowers too. Let's see what I mean, jelly bean. Don't fall, camera. Come closer to me. Thank you. Very well made. Let me see if these are all soldered as well. Looks like it. Let me just spin it just to be sure because it could be hidden. It's soldered. This is all soldered together. Oh, it's all fell over. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't see any interest in the rose necklace, I mean bracelet. I put this coin jewelry together, it's all costume, but it's fun and it's cute. 
Let's find a wear. Or is this just a necklace that I fib? I thought I had more than one thing in here. Maybe not. Maybe this is just a necklace. Maybe. Yep, yeah, I think so. How can you be tangled, darling? You're in here all by your own some. Oh, that's a magnet. Just came off. Where did you come from? Bear with me. Alright. Here's an here's the end. Yay. This is costume, but it has some weight because of this chain. It's a lobster claw with an extender. Just faux coin necklace. Multi strand. You can sit and mess with this. You want it to be all straight and stuff. It's pretty close there. So these are they're lightweight. They're not the, the horrible, completely tinny ones. But they are lightweight. But it's a fun costume piece. It looks cool. Doing the coin jewelry. I got quite a bit of wear. It's just too heavy for my neck now. Okay, let me get a drop on this. The hell did I do in my... Oh, it's right in front of me. And then it has an extender. A pretty long one. Okay, the drop to the first one is 15 inches. And then it goes to 8... 18, and I'm going to say 19, but you have a long extender on here. Yeah, it's a 3-inch extender. This is a cool one. I got my wear out of this, so I'll start at 5. I did. I got to wear it plenty. It looks good on. It's cute. It is what it is. It's a coin neck uh, necklace. So the coin necklace is five. Starting at five at only five. Oh my gosh, this is so lightweight and tacky. Good grief. It's aluminum or something. See Lori at five. It's fun, Lori. It's a fun piece. It's coin jewelry. I was like, what do you expect? I don't know about this. It's sturdy, but it feels so light, like aluminum. But it's nice. I'll bring it. It is really beautiful. Do you? I the Lyra B earrings. <laughs> I don't see any interest on this. I'm going to start calling this for Lori. So going once to Lori. Going twice to Lori. Last call. And sold to Lori at five. Congrats, babe. That's a good pickup. But I got my wear out of it. I wore a lot. Thank you very much. This doesn't weigh anything. I almost like tossed it in the you know, lot or craft, but I'm looking at it and maybe it's aluminum or something. But it's so well made and this rhinestones are beautiful. The prong set. So don't know what it's made of, but yeah, everything is prong set, including the actual rhinestones on the chain. So we'll call that pretty little thing sold. The charm, the, yeah. Anyway, clearly this suggests anywhere you want it. Probably up to like a 20 because it's lobster claw. So it's not vintage, but it's just so well made. Everything's prong set. Is that a hair?
it's just really well made. It's light. Not like bubble gum machine light, but <laughs> but see, all oh, these are prong set and they're really pretty and bright. Look at the back. So I don't have a problem with it being light because it could just be aluminum. Could be rhodia. I don't know. Maybe silver plate. No idea. Just beautiful. So yeah, it's going to adjust wherever you want it because of the chain. The way it's made. All of this is eligible. <laughs> so you bring as tight as you want or as low as you want. It's really pretty. So you know what? I think it's adorable. If I could get it to hook. There we go. Did I get it? Yes. <laughs> Finally. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. I'm going to start the bid on this one at just three. Because it's lightweight. I don't know what it is, but it's well made. It's not bubblegum machine light. It's just, it's really bright. So I don't know if it's radium, aluminum, silver plate. I don't know, but it's shiny. And all that is prong set, which is nice. Yeah, with prom coming and homecoming, all these things will be coming up. See? Gorgeous. And even the chain. So, extremely well made. Really pretty. I don't see anybody else. I'm going to start calling this for Lori. I'm say going once for Lori, going twice for Lori. That's called. Thank you, Lori. So do I. Thank you, baby. It's really pretty. I'm thinking we have any um, silver plate red earrings. I don't know. I don't know. Because I do have several little silver plate um, faux gemstone earrings, like these little posts. They're tested, plated, like the faux different gemstones. I'm assuming these are all glass. Let's just see what we got. It's got a tiny bit above glass. It's really pretty. Miss tiny little studs. I know you can't see them, the lights too much. It's wiping them out. There we go. There. Where's my, my other eyeballs? So, silver plate. I'm going to say faux gemstone. So I got these. Anything else that's similar that would kind of rock with that? <laughs> it's going to rock with that? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at that knot. Oh my word. What's in here? You got a sparkly cross. This actually looks like it. No. This all looks costume, silver plated. Oh, Lord, do I want to sit and untangle that? Not really. Not really. If I could find these other hoops, we could do these hoops with those because that would be cute together. Mm. Where'd you go, mister? Where'd you go? Why are you giving me grief? I can't believe, I hate when you can't find another earring. It's like you know it's in there. I may have to do this. I'll buy their little long sums. Hey, I found it. These are really pretty. They're just gold tone. 
but I love the stamping on them, the embossing. So this is, you know, the front goes in here, but I'm showing you the back here. So the front's a bit so bad. This is the back. So you can see it's decorated all the way around. Pierced. Really pretty. Okay. So I do these together. The silver plate. So gemstone studs. And these really cool embossed gold coops. Those look like they're probably... I don't know, they might be three quarters of an inch. The hoops. They're an inch. So we got these and the silver plate. And we'll just start the bid on these at um I'll do seven. It's plated. I love these. I got them for my niece, but she didn't she didn't like them because she just she doesn't wear like she doesn't wear anything but gold so i'm always picking up gold tone hoops because she wears a lot of hoops the seven for the two pairs so you got silver blade, silver plate, gold over silver on those earrings, and then the stamp, gold tone hoops. Very nice. Here I'll throw in a butterfly. Who are you? It is signed. We have a signed little butterfly because he's laying here. I'll add him. Why not? Who are you? Oh, it's upside down. I can't make it out. Maybe Jerry's when you can't read it. It's Jerry, so it had this in. I think it is Jerry's. The Sanders over here. I think it says Jerry's. So you got the butterfly, the silver plate, vermeil, because they are vermeil. They're silver plate vermeil. And then the butterfly, the silver plate earrings, and then the gold. Really pretty embossed hoops. Focus, dude. Focus. I had it for a minute. It says no. Computer says no. So these three. Nada. Right, I have another pair of earrings. These are just pretty little sparkles. Come on, baby. These went to a necklace and they got separated. They're just little dangles. Little crystals. These are glass. So add those in. Oh, this magnet stuck. Get over there. Thank you. So we got one, two, three, four pairs of earrings and the Jerry's butterfly. About um I would, I just deleted the wrong comment. I think I deleted somebody else's comment. I did, sorry. I'm going to drop this to five because I won't, don't want to put this back in a box. So I got these really nice gold tone earrings. The Jerry's Butterfly. The Vermeil silver plated, 
gemstone earrings. I'm still not focused. Come on. These are so pretty. They're just so <laughs> glitzy. You're not going to be able to see them. And then the little crystal dangles. So it's one, two, three pairs of earrings, and the Jerry's butterfly at five. Bangles? Um, yeah, I got sterling bangles. I've got one true lucite um, bug beetle bug bangle that sold, and then said it got lost in the mail, and they sent it back. So they refunded the buyer, sold through Posh, and they ended up coming back to me. It says upstairs in a package. So I'm looking if there's anything else I can toss in here. Sweet in the pot. I'm sweeten the pot, baby. I got a tangle. How's that? Man, what have you done? Come on, there's got to be something in here that kind of sort of. No, I'm missing that other earring. Don't see anything. I thought I had more earrings, but you know what? I don't. But I do. I do. I am going to pass on that. I don't know I have anything else to it. I'm done. Okay. I have this sterling bangle. It is an octagon. It's eight sided. I think that's the stamp in there. Yep. What say you? Bracelet. Nine two five. Mexico. And it's got the letters and numbers as always. Where'd my mark go? T S one sixteen. This one's a seven and three quarters sterling. And I will start bid on this. Got decent weight. I'll start this at 15. And yes, it's sterling. Oops, forgot to turn the scale on. That helps, right? Right. It's 11.9 grams. Oh, that's barely over a dollar a gram. <sighs> so that's 15 on this bangle. Seven and three quarters. It is sterling. Signed, Mexico. It's an octagon. I'm checking out this watch. <laughs> this one takes a battery. But it's gold filled. Uh... I don't know if I have any other, like, right here. I don't. Not right. Not right here. So I just had everything pulled for um, vintage today. This is a vintage golf brooch. It's three colors. It is signed. I forget the maker. Any light? K. And T, so it's the ampersand. So K, the ampersand sign, and T. So it's K and T. The copyright below that. It's golf with your golf clubs. And it's the tritone. It is copper and brass. That's a cool little brooch. And 
I will start bid on that one at two dollars. K and T. It's a nice, nice big golf. It would look really nice on like your hat or your golf sweater or your golf bag. Ow. Itch, 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 itch. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to give you a measurement. That's what I was doing. I was doing something. This guy says it's vintage for sure. It's two and a three quarters inches by two and a half inches. That's a neat old one at two. This is very nice. Don't see a mark on this. Says something. Do this see, uh, is it? Dosen do this see moves. I think it's do as I do. I think that's what that is. Is do as I do. I think that's what that means. Where's my phone? So I can uh, see what this means. I don't see any interest in the golf pen. Let me see what this means. I think I've got it right. Latin. Do nothing. No, it's not the right place. Learn by teaching. Learn by teaching. Okay. Learn by teaching is what that means. Okay. So that's what it says. In Latin. Nice big brooch. Big boy. And I give you a measurement on this. It is I'm on the wrong side of the tape. It is just shy of two and oops. It's out of half or three quarters there. It's just shy of two and a half inches long. And it's just over two inches wide. <laughs> it's a big monster. It's pretty cool. Um, so we're passing on the golf brooch. And then we'll start a bit on this one at 10. It's a nice brooch. These always do well. The one with the crowns and the crests and the Maltese crowns. It's got all the bells and whistles. Very nice. That's a cool one. That looked really great on a, on a black jacket. On the side of a, of a hat. I see Lori's at 10. It's a nice one. Sorry, I keep drop my arm keeps dropping on you, huh? A bag. And we'll see what this is. I'm going to start calling this for Lori. Going once for Lori, twice for Lori. Last call, I'll sell Lori for 10. Thank you, hon. It's a heavy one. You know you're wearing it, that's for sure. It's sunny. I still see gray clouds, but it's the sun shining. We gave up on the pool. It just kept getting too cool. 
And it costs a lot to run that heater. <laughs> it's like, you know, just run that frivol frivolously. This is funky cute. Rain costume. This part's adjustable here. But this doesn't close, so that's not. Not there. Not there. There. It's a little big on me. Uh-uh. Not quite, huh? Kind of cute. Let's bust open these rings, shall we? I'm on the floor. Why the hell not? I'm gonna get it. <laughs> There's a little cross down here too. Gosh, she's tiny. Alright. So this ring. This reminds me of my wedding ring that I lost. Except mine was yellow gold. But it does. It really reminds me of it. So you wanna so you got this ring. This is clearly fake, but it is what it is. Silver plated. It, it does. It reminds me of my wedding ring, except mine was yellow gold. Because it was the engagement ring, and they had to um, solder the wedding band to it. Really pretty. If you want to fake someone out. These... Faux cocktail rings and stuff these days are really convincing. So I'm going to do all these rings. And what do you, what should we do? How about let's do, um, how about we start these at, I don't know, I'll say $3. And then I guess you can do like a choice of. So you got this one. I'm going to give you sizes. Six and a half. This is a size nine. This is just stainless. Let me make sure the size on there is right. Yeah, I think it's nine and a half. Honestly, it's a nine and a half. I'm assuming it's stainless. I don't think it's titanium. It says something. <laughs> I'm like, where'd my eyeballs go? I can't make it out. Is that a sticker or is it in the or is it part of the ring? No, I said that's part of the ring. What do you say, dude? I don't know. It's almost like a skyline or something weird. Let me show you. I don't know what this is. Sorry. Oh, it's Batman. <laughs> okay. So you got flowers. You got Batman. He's a nine and a half. This looks like one of those titanium ones. It says 11. It's a size 12. Oh, this one has got the Mason symbol on it. This looks like the titanium in there. I'm going to call all these stainless because I have no way of knowing. And this has the mason. Oh, that looks like um, black goldstone almost. I don't know what it is. I'm calling these stainless. So this one is the 11. And it's the mason. This is bigger than that. This is this is going down to 11, 11 and 3 quarters. And then, oops. I heard you, dude. Where'd you go? Come back here. Don't drop it again. I keep dropping it. This is interesting. Duh, this day is long. Looks like a paste stone, but it's not old enough to be paste.
That might be plastic even. No? Oh my god, it's going way up past glass. Like in the amethyst citrine. Jadeite amethyst cords. Look how dull it is. I don't think this is sterling. It might be, guys. There's a deep stamp in there. I can't read. That's probably the 925. I want to test this. I thought it was custom. <laughs> it's not. I got to rub it for sterling. All right, let's keep going on our $3 rings. It's another stainless that is Batman again. And it's size 11, another Batman. He's got Batmans all the way around. Batman. You got your faux solitaire, silver plate, seven, size seven. These, these faux rings are, this is so pretty. Mm. It's a six. You got your faux sapphires and diamonds, but these are just, Faux rings. Faux show. So this is a six. All right. So I got Lori wants one. Angela wants one. This is Superman. I'm just going to call all these stainless because I don't know what it is. Otherwise, I don't know. This is Superman. I don't trust their sizes. It says 10, but I don't think they, they haven't been right yet. No, see, this one's like ten and a half for Superman. We have another one of these. I think I got it in a larger size. Yeah, I picked one up in a six and one in a seven. I just thought they were really pretty rings. I mean, they are. They're pretty rings. So I have this one in a six and a seven. It's a pretty ring. This one looks so real, right? You can really fake somebody out with that as your as your wedding ring <laughs> this is pretty this is a faux um topaz heart this must be like a five and a half I'm saying it's a six maybe it'll go on this six yeah okay so this is a six it's pretty it's a faux topaz it's a heart all these are they'll say 95 but they're plated they're not sterling and we got a bunch more of these Batman um, stainless rings, different sizes. This one's a 12. This one says Jesus and has crosses. I'll show it to you. And this one is, I'm going to say 10 and a half, 10 and three quarters. And I'll show you this one. And the cross, and then it repeats. Sorry for the blurriness. I'm having a hard time holding on to this thing. Uh, it says a 10. I think I already did this. It's actually like 10 and a half. So you got the black ones. The Batman. Oh, this is gold tone Batman. And it doesn't look as big. This one's like nine and three quarters. Nine and a half, nine and three quarters. And this is cool because it's the uh, um, plated with the Batman. I don't know if young men like these or not. I picked them up thinking for my young nephew. This is another one that's um it has the frosted sterling. Excuse me. Stainless with the smooth, and it's another one that's the uh, Masons. And this one is stamped several times on the mason ring. It says eight. Okay, size eight on this silver tone mason's ring. And that's all. So, Lori, do you remember anything remotely about what you want to see? Um, which rings? We got the flower one. We got several of the black, 
This one has the Masons. We've got some with Batman, some with Superman, one with Superman, the other one multi Masons, or if you want to do it by size, this faux wedding ring, the first two. Okay, we had this one. And then I'm trying to remember which one it was. It wasn't the Masons. It was one of these stainless ones. So I think it was the stainless Batman. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'll test it and see. Yeah, this one's like nine and a quarter. Oh, yeah, nine and a quarter. You have to test that. I'm not doing it two dollars. <laughs> That's why side to side. Like that looks sterling. That looks right. So I know you want this one. The second one wasn't the okay. Give me sizes that you want, Angela. Flower and cocktail were the first two. Oh, this one. The big bling bling one. I just had it in my hot little hand. This one. Yes. Hey, Becky. This one. Yeah. Right? Fake you out easy with that thing. Gorgeous. So four bucks for these two for, for Laura. Hello, Lottie. Pretty, pretty. And then I just got to get your sizes for you, um, Angela. Because there's a few different um, sizes on the Batman. Okay. Batman, Superman. All right. Oh, I better go get that. I'll forget. It's in the bag. The whole bag fell. Ugh. All right. Ugh, I'm in my hell stress. Isn't that lovely? All right, that's Mason's. Here's a Batman. Lori, I mean, um, Angela. This Batman is a 12. This is black, um, stainless Batman. He's a 12. This is Superman. So, let's see if this black Superman is good. This one is coming in at a 10 and a half. This is cool. This is the Batman that's on the gold tone. So you want the black Batman? Okay. This is the gold from Black Man. Bat Batman, Black Man. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Nine and three quarters. Nine and a half, maybe. Okay, you like those two. So that's a, a Batman. And a Superman. Okay, cool. Anybody else want stainless rings? Let me know. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2. So 24 dollars for all of these at two dollars a piece. I'll knock it to 20. Anybody wants all these rings? I'll do it for 20. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 rings. Anybody wants the 12 rings? And I'll do it for um for twenty. Anybody wants these? I've got a, a lot to show them. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to show them individually and price them individually and spend the whole show. Char, you want those? Okay. Char's taking these. Angela, these are yours. Better mark them. Better mark them. I like gifts. I just never did sit down with my nephew. And he doesn't keep them. I gave him a nice antique Kofi ring. I don't know where it's at. 
I'm, I'm just let it go. Just let it go. It's just a thing. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Angela. And thank you, Char. The rings are cooked. Let's see if this is real. Doesn't have any weight. Can't believe that stone is something that needs seriously cleaned. It obviously came with these costume rings. The rub looks really good. We know the stone is real. The design is pretty. Let's see. It's blue. I'm going to give it a minute, though, because I'm sus. Okay, because it was in that bag. Make sure it's going to hang out. Yeah, it's not floating. Okay, it's sterling. Actually, really good rub, huh? Well, good, Shard. They're nice rings. There's nothing wrong with them. I just picked them up inexpensively. And, I mean, obviously, I probably paid more than I'm selling for, but it's okay. It all comes out in the wash, if you know what I mean. What was I doing? Oh, this ring. All right, so it's sterling. It is a gemstone. It's a size uh, it's nine and three quarters. Literally, right there. Yep. Nine and three quarters. It's a pretty ring, huh? I mean, that stone needs scrubbed up, but that should clean up nice. It is open in the back, too. So that's really pretty. It doesn't weigh much. But it's solid. It's not hollow. See if anybody claimed it. Oh, we already looked at it. I didn't see anything except the stamp, the 925. It's 6.86 grams. So um, I'll just start this at 10 bucks. Size 9 and 3 quarters. It is gemstone. This needs cleaned. Nice design. It is sterling. Very pretty. There's that stamp. And it is open in the back. She needs a good bath. I see Lori at 10. Char's at 11. I see Lori at 12. Very pretty ring. I see Char at 13. Looks like it's got some age, doesn't it, guys? I'm sure it'll shine up. I see Lori at 14. It's a pretty ring. Oh, Lori's at 14. A Char looking for 15 or better. Size 9 and 3 quarters. Sterling. I don't know if that's quartz or amethyst or I don't know what that stone is. Shars out. I start calling this for Lori. Going once to Lori. Going twice to Lori. And so to Lori for 14. Thank you for your bid, Shar. Thank you, Lori, honey. That's a really nice ring. That was nice. It was mixed in there with those costume rings, right? It's always nice to find a surprise like that. I'm glad someone's going to use those rings because they're nice. I mean, I bought them on the intention of my nephew. Great nephew, rather. But he didn't have the interest I thought he would have. And that's fine. This is truly vintage. <laughs> I love this optical illusion type thing they do with these pieces. Let me get close to you. Hi there. Very nice, right? Very optical. It's a classic hook. And you can hook this where you want. And it's finished with the ball. Let me see if this is marked. Looks like it is. Who have we got? It is a Trafari with the copyright. Uh-huh. Very nice. Oh, I have this open. Let me go through the link from this. 
Now, the way this chain is made, you can attach that anywhere along the chain. And that looks like it's about a two inch extender on that. So it's probably going to go from 15 to 17, honestly. It goes to 16. So it does go to 16 inches. This is Trafari. I'd say 70s on this piece. They were really into the optical. It's dimensional. It looks like it's folded. Oh, those straight lines in the background, the smooth, the top, it's very interesting. So the Trafari, I'll start this at six. It's a great deal for this one. And it just hooks wherever. It is very nice. Very nice indeed. Very pretty. Becky's in at six on the Trafari. The Trafari is selling like crazy. The Monet still sells well, but the Trafari sells crazy. It really doesn't make a difference if it's Crown Trafari or Trafari. It's really experts don't make any difference. I mean, once you get into like the Tremblers or the Pegasus and stuff, yeah. That's not Pegasus, isn't Trafari? I'm sorry, that's Cora. I see Becky at six. Oh, I never put the start bit in. I'm late. Becky's already in by the time I. I just hadn't hit the. I hadn't hit the uh, button. A very nice piece. I hope it matches, baby. This is pretty distinct. You should know if that's it or not. But, you know, the thing is, it's close, it's fine, too. Because as long as it looks good, if the silver tones are close, it's all good, right? Come here, chair. I need a little bit bigger bag. Thank you. Bigger, please. All right, I'm going to call this for Becky. Yeah, right? And sometimes you just got to go with it like that. It's like, it's close enough. It'll work. So, home once, going twice, going three times. And the Trafari is sold to Becky at six. Thank you, ma'am. And we'll mark that as sold. These are really pretty earrings. Long chandeliers. These are vintage. Yep. Very nice. They'd probably shine up a little bit. You could clean them. Okay, look at those crystals flashing blue up there. I'm going to do one at a time so you can see these. Yeah, these are nice. These are the real deals. I see the back. They are pierced. These are very, very well made. Very flowy. A lot of movement. Let's see if these are prong set. Yes, they are prong set. I'm cleaning the large main stone at the top. These are beautiful. I'm going to start these at five bucks. It's a good deal on these. I have worn these. They have presents. Wore them to Rocky Horror Picture Show. With my black crushed velvet blazer. <laughs> I still have it. It's a little big now, but it's still fine. Stuff like that you can wear oversized. I'm going to have to pick these up to get a proper measurement. They are three inches. Let's see, Lori's at seven. Hey, Daisy. 
Yeah, these are three inches. Drop dead gorgeous. No doubt. Pretty, pretty. Oops. Whew. I see Lori at nine. These feel great on. They're light, but yet they're not. You feel them, but they don't pull your ear. And they move, so they throw a lot of light. They do throw a lot of light when you have them on. I see Daisy at 12. Very nice. I'll show you these stones and the top. Very nicely done. Extremely well done. They actually had their backs. <laughs> Earth be still, they have their backs. I got all fuzzy, didn't I? Okay, Lori's out to Daisy. Congratulations, Daisy. Going once for Daisy, twice. Let's go. Congratulations, Daisy. Those are beautiful. You'll love those. They wear nice. They really do. They're comfortable. I'm blingy, very blingy. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for your bids, Lori, honey. I don't know what this is doing here. This is a sterling chain. Oh, I have another crest. Oh, it's a necklace. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, I love this dot dash necklace. This is pretty, 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 pretty. Fold over clasp, no signature, but nice, 70s, oh, yeah, this is nice, guys, this is super nice, check this out, please that chain, the chain is fantastic, I want to see to see this pendant, first of all. Ah, don't lose focus. Please don't do that. Patience, patience, Mel. It's not doing it. It's just not, not doing it. Yeah. Man, the reflection off the light really, really gives a number on the jewelry, doesn't it? There, beautiful red enamel, faux pearl in the center. You've got your griffins, and then I don't know what those are hanging with the little seed pearls at all at the bottom. This is extremely ornate, and check out this chain. That is a fabulous chain, and it has a spring ring clasp. This is very seventies. Fold, not spring ring, fold over, sorry. Yeah, this is so 70s. That is great. Fantastic. This is long. See, it's got to be 32 inches if it's an inch. Mm, wrong side. You had it the first time. I'm glad you guys are here today. It's been a nice way to spend the afternoon doing this. 34 inches long. And the pendant is two, a little over, about two and a quarter inches long. And the width on the pendant is an inch and a quarter. This is fantastic. And you can take this off because those old 70 
bales, how this just pinches. See? So you could take this off. This is a great chain to have. It is a link chain like this to have as utility, as a staple. Yeah, this is a nice one to have as a staple. All right. I'm sorry. I'm all enthused. <laughs> I adore this. I got to start this at 20, guys. This is nice. This has got some weight. Are you? Make it better and be. Yes, it's brass. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Holy smokes. I love this. I love that. This chain. Yeah. That chain is so nice to have. A long chain like that for your pendants. Absolutely. I have it backwards. Wow. That is super nice. I'm digging this one, guys. So 20 on this is 34 inch chain. This chain is great. What a great utility piece. What a good staple to have in your closet. No doubt. That's a great staple to have in your closet. Let me get this up here for you. <laughs> Just yank it off of their mail. Just snatch it. Just snatch it. See Lori at 20. That is a fabulous piece. And as long as it fits over the chain on that with that bail, you could put this on any other type of chain as well. Which is nice. So you've got your chain that's obviously a great chain to just to have, but the fact that this opens. Gives you options to wear this on shorter chains. Pretty cool. I'm going to start calling this for Lori. I'm going to Lori once. I'm going twice. Let's go. Congratulations, Lori. This is beautiful. Nice. I dig that chain. Pat and sold. I snagged that chain big time. It's just one of those things. You could wear it with like your 10 karat real gold or your Vome stuff. Sure. Sure. Why not? This looks like Damascene. I hope you love that. I know you will. Looks like Damascene, but it feels lightweight. I don't know. Maybe Toledo wear, maybe not. All these little. Booger's glass inside here. Yeah, they're actually going a little above glass. We'll call it glass. Maybe probably just crystals. All right. So, looks like Damascene. Again, it's got that kind of like a pinched bale. Uh. Very pretty. See if I can get you to where you can see this, perhaps. Very pretty. So I'll do the Damascene. I'll start this at... Three dollars. Oh, let me give you a quick measure on that. It looks. I'm gonna measure the bail for the whole thing. It's two inches long, and the width on it is one and a half. They are glass stones. I don't know that it's true damascene, but that's the style. And the glass stones around there. I see Lori at three. Oh, you're pretty.
Uh -oh. I'm losing it, though. I saw something out of the corner of my eye. I don't see anybody else. Yeah, no. All right, I'm going to start calling this for Laura. Oh, Lori's at five. Sharon came in at four. Sorry. I looked up. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I think it's damaging, but it's not marked. And the fact it does have a glass, I don't know. Looks nice. Lori came back at seven. Find more bags. Ooh. <laughs> oh, cool. It's adjustable. I adjust it so it fits me. <laughs> <laughs> Evil eye to you. Lori's out. Going once, going twice, going three times to Sharon. Thank you. And so does Sharon at eight. Thank you, Sharon. And thank you, Lori, for your bids, honey. It's a pretty one. Now you're going to need a go ten chain. I'm looking around like, surely I have one somewhere. Who knows? This is immaculate. Forget who it is, but you'll probably recognize it. It's Emmons. Very heavy. This has always been cabinet cap. I don't even know why it was in this box. It obviously is not supposed to be in that box. It's an Emmons. Very fat. Very heavy. I had this in my collection a long, long time. It's perfect. And it's signed. Where is the Emmons at? Oh, on the stem. <laughs> That's a nice one. So we're going to do the sold on the... Yeah, the Damascene. And then I'm going to start this on the... On the Emmons. Oof. I'm starting at 12. That's super nice. Emmons. E M M O N S. And this one is two and a quarter by one and a half. Signed Emmons. Vintage. Perfect. Brush gold, nice size. Definitely going to need a heavy shirt or to use the fabric backing behind your blouse or dress because it's large and in charge. It's a big guy. He's a big guy. The way these hang, I do have a gold torque somewhere, but the way these brooches hang, some of them lend themselves to hanging on necklaces. Yeah, so if you had a gold torque, you definitely could. Or a chain. So it gives you something else to do with it. Because it's so big. It's heavy. It's very, very heavy. How heavy? I'll tell you how heavy. It's 23.97 grams. It's heavy. Ow, I had to put my foot down where I was sitting. Too much pressure on that lower back having that leg up. Too much pressure. So the Emmons. No collectors here. I, you should not have even been in that box, little dude. I'm wrapping him up. <laughs> so he doesn't get scratched up. I'm going to stand for a minute. Okay. That. Wowza. Gun metal. Not tied pearls. I 
other different types of strands. Okay, so it's a gunmetal chain, has a lobster claw, does have an extender, but this is not going to hook on these down here, so you're stuck with this length. But this style, I'm sure you're going to want this length anyway, so you don't want this sitting up at your neck, I don't think. So it's about 20 inches, and then you got another 3 inches on extender. So it's different ones, and these are not, I don't know, are you glass? Either very, very, very hard plastic or glass. They're heavy. It moves, so it can't be plastic. It's glass. They're glass pearls. Okay, so this strand has the small and the larger. Then these have the group of three. These are every other one. Large, a little bit smaller. Large, so they're... So they're buried. And I will start these. And they're heavy as hell. Because they're glass. I don't see a maker on these anywhere. What okay. fell? Ah. Uh, rings all right so first of all we need to pass on whatever was 12 oh the emmons on this uh, two bucks anybody want to see they're heavy glass pearls they're pretty but they're heavy let's see the better of these the messier the better. Oh, just two dollars on those. I don't see any interest, and this was twenty inches long. And it has another, say, two. So you could take this from 20 to 22 inches. Pretty glass pearls. I'm going to say pass on those. They're heavy. Like, they are heavy. Crazy heavy. It hurt my neck looking at them. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. This is beautiful. I have some nice old pieces on here. I forget I even have stuff, guys. I've had this so long. I'll be like, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. This feels like brass. I doubt there's going to be a signature. So it's got some age on it. I'm just trying to get it straightened out. Spring ring. Nothing on it. Are you brass? Yes, it is brass. Nice. Let me see if these are glass or not. There's a spring ring. Yeah, this is nice. I love this. It's kind of like a festoon style. Wow. Nice stamped brass. Let's see if this is glass or plastic, what we're working with here. Let's try the center cabochon. It's glass. The little beads are glass. I'm going to try the necklace part itself. This glass. Nope. Check. And the age doesn't really dictate that it would be jet, but I mean, it didn't hurt to check. This is beautiful. Let me get you a drop on this. 15 inch. This is beautiful vintage brass and glass. You do have to straighten it out when you put it on, but it's well worth it there 
It's not bad. Pretty easy to do. Guys, this is really gorgeous. Um, I'm going to start a bit on this one. I'll do 15, which is stupid low, but yeah, that's got some age on it. That big old spring ring. This is all brass. Really nice. Really pretty. I like this big spring ring. I see Daisy at 15. Yeah, Daisy, this is a nice vintage, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. Check that out. I love that festoon style. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Even on my wrinkly old neck. I see Daisy at 15. It's gorgeous. Wow. Get in there. Be nice to the blind, shaky lady. My fat fingers in its own way. I go to put it through the hole. My fingers behind the. Very beautiful. So Daisy at 15. God, that's gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. Oops. I got it looped to looped. There we go. Oh, Laura, you're sweet to say that. Oh, wow. That's pretty, 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 pretty. Daisy said 15. I love that. Then my Sunday dress on our fancy on a Sunday. <laughs> I'm all fancy. I'm all fancy at home in my Sunday house dress. <laughs> my booty was going to sleep sitting there because my feet up was too much pressure like on my lower back. I said, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll just put them not as elevated, just a little bit elevated. Just put them in boxes under there. I see Sharon at 16. Oh, thank you, Becky. You too were the same size. Everything's just hanging off me, though. I lost that 40 pounds, and everything is just, my skin is just creeping and just hanging off me. But I'd rather have the weight off me and have droopy skin than have it be filled with weight. I see Daisy at 17. This is funky. <laughs> Isn't that funky? Yeah, I see Sharon's at 18. What's next in the gay box? This thing's my nemesis. So, so Sharon at 18, Daisy looking for 19 or better, honey. It's a fantastic necklace. It is fantastic. It's not how you feel, it's how you look. And you look fabulous, darling. <laughs> Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> Daisy's at 19, looking for 20 or better. This thing is so beautiful. It just tangles so easy. I adore this. I'm thinking, about how did I used to wear this? I wore it pretty frequently. Maybe that's why, because it was always hanging up and didn't get tangled. And it got put, once it went laying down in a box or somewhere, it was like doomed. Oh, there's some serious tangles in here. So Daisy's at 19. Sharon looking for 20 or better, sugar. Appreciate your bids, you guys. It's a nice Sunday, just hanging out. Sharon's out. I'm going to start calling this for Daisy. I give. How gorgeous is this? Going twice. Uh, these readers, I know, I picked them at a thrift store. I love them. And I'm so glad they're strong enough that they work well for my readers because I need strong ones. Ah, I'm going to go insane trying to get this free. 
Oh, oh, we had we had progress. We had movement. I had movement. I don't want to let go. <laughs> As I have movement, we're getting somewhere. Just, just stop. <laughs> and sold the daisy. Where were we? 19. Great deal on that. It's a great deal on this one. True vintage. Beautiful. Brass and glass. And just the design. That festoon. Hang on that. Oh, my God. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, the evil eye. The evil eye. I think it goes this way. And those eyelashes are up. Or does it go this way? It's adjustable. Is it really brass? No. It's not. This is an unsigned brooch. A ribbon, I guess, right? Just a, a open work. Kind of dimensional ribbon, not signed. This is supposed to be opal, but it has no shine. Let's see if I can see anything in it. I see nothing. It's not gold filled or anything. It's supposed to be early opal. It's just I don't see any any color in it. So yeah, stick pen, nondescript brooch, the eyeball, which is adjustable. A friend of mine made this, Beth Ann, Beth Ann Morgan, and it's called Morgan's Magic Copper Creations. And she she sees the leaves in her yard, and she models these after the leaves in her yard. So Beth Ann made this. It's ready to go on a chain or a bracelet or your rub your mirror however you want it and i leave it by her little sign card her little hang tag prettiness cute cute say so that the brooch that i'm just putting together a little lot of what's left a pretty little butterfly oh no momento por favor oh man my Tingly foot. Tingly, tingly. Where's that big old wine glass thing? Here it is. This works great for tossing jewelry jars in because it's big and open. Okay, so you got the eyeball ring. We got the, I suppose, ribbon brooch, stick pin. We have a butterfly. We have a copper leaf by Beth Ann Morgan. We have two bracelets tied together. Gather, 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 gather. This is pretty. Doesn't feel nor look like genuine vintage to me. It's too light. Don't like the color. I mean, not, I'm just saying it's fine. It's just not. I don't think it's true vintage. I think it's an, a lookalike. It has a black string, so I'm trying to get off of there. Somebody had something tied on. Are you marked? I'd be just shocked if you were. Don't think so. No. So it's not marked. I think it's just a knockoff. I don't think it's true vintage. It could be. It's not marked. I don't know. I could be wrong. It's a hope closure. I could be totally wrong, and that could be totally vintage. I guess more contemporary. Ditto. This looks silver plate, hollow heart, toggle clasp. Tiffany's want to be faker. Pretty enough, though, honestly. With the silver plate, looks pretty good. It could totally, totally do it, especially if you're just going somewhere where there's not, you're not in the mall being watched by other witches. Yeah, we could totally do this. This is cute, actually. 
I had the real one. I sold it ages ago. To return to Tiffany's, the real thing. Okay, that's going in there. What else we got? This is very interesting. It's on just a cord. This <laughs> guy. Easter ribbon on it. Easter grass stuff, which is really strange that it's in there. Okay, don't don't ask. This thing inside. Okay, it says Carpe Diem, and it's got seven, six, five, four. It's got all these numbers. It does something. This moves, and then inside here, these numbers move. I don't know what it does. It's cool. It's unique, okay? This is, I think, a shoe clip. only have one, but it's very old. This is tight, tight, tight. So, I don't know. Is it a shoe clip? It's a clip. It's dented, but it's funky. It's old. It's cool. It's cool. These are pierced earrings. What are you doing, dude? Bling, baby. Bling, bling. I think this is bronze. This might be something. Let's see what this says. Uh, yeah. It's a Betsy and Aya. Sterling bronze. And it says Beezy. It is Sterling bronze. It's a... Betsy and Aya, I-Y-A, is also signed on this tag here. Then you have the original store tag. Here is your closure here. And here is your hook. And there's your triangle closure here. That looks like, what, 18, 20 inches. That says Beezy. Okay, so they do sterling and bronze, and it's called Betsy and Aya. It's a studio piece. So on the Betsy and Aya, I'm going to start bid on this one at 15. Betsy and Aya. I don't get some marks sterling or anything. I can test it. I did before, though, but we can do it again because I slept since then. I got this one with that um, Cosmic Twins thing. That was another really cool studio piece. I got that, uh, was it Razo? Rocky, Razo, Razo, that bronze, his bronze. So I had quite a few bronze pieces. I meant to grab that medallion necklace and start wearing that, that bronze. That's by that. What's his name? We're not Rocco. Oh, gosh. It's Razo. Well, I got a really smidgy from the chain. I'm not rubbing the um the um bronze. No way. I mess up my board. And try the hooks. Yeah, it used to be a big thing. Let me tell you, in the nineties it was still going. Studio pieces were all the rage. No one cares anymore about the art. No one cares about the artist anymore. Yeah, we're good. I put a shit <laughs> solution on there. I got carried away. My bottle. i gushing out. <laughs> okay. So the Betsy and I at 15. Where'd she go? Oh, there's a bunch of hearts in here. There she is. Do I have no? It's sold. You kidding me? The cosmic twin with the with the pink opals. It's sold. Sandy Spiff bought that. This is a nice one. Betsy and I. It's got the original tag. It has their name hand tag on it as well. That's in the bronze. It is all sterling. It says Beezy. B e e z y. It's a nice one. If you like that sort of thing. And if you're into studio art, 
tape measure. What? How did you get in a knot? That's ex. Wow. Really went above and beyond to do that, my dude. That's bizarre. What in the world? I couldn't do that if I tried. Can we try that again, guys? Please. It's eleven inch drop, so twenty two. Does that mean you go over my head, dude? Yep. There we go. Bees. I just sent the dragonfly bees. <laughs> Yeah, Sandy snapped that up. I see a bunch of hearts. This looks silver plate. Puppy heart. And then this has got a tag on it. It says 925 is 7 inches. And it's tangled. This is a chain. This appears to be sterling or plated. The one is sterling, but the other ones, I'm suspecting these are plated. So they are not in my sterling group. This looks sterling. Seven inches. Cute. It's little stars and dolphins and hearts. And what is that other thing? I don't know what that other thing is. So hearts, dolphins, stars, and I don't know what, what that is. I don't know what that is. That was an elephant, isn't it? Yeah, it's an elephant. It's a seven inch on this little sterling. <laughs> Cute, right? They wanted twenty-two dollars for it. I'm sure I didn't pay that. Um, very cute. Seven inches sterling. This one, I'm gonna guess, is silver plate. Hollow, etched heart. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the silver plate. So you got 15 on the actual sterling. Little charm bracelet. This is silver plate. Puppy heart. And it's etched. Very pretty. Puppy heart. Okay. That's going in the jewelry jar. This is costume, but oh, that's so cool. Look at this. <laughs> it's attached. What does that say? This is so unusual. I love you. It just says I love you. And this is a magnet that closes that. How adorable. I think it's a seven. I'm throwing shit around. Seven and a half is what it's showing. Seven and a half. That's so cute. I'll put that in there. Ooh, this is a quartz crystal heart. It's all on plated though. Oh, this chain's probably it looks like it's silver. Let's see what it says. Nine two five Italy. K.A. 1772. Oh, my God. That's to, um, something spa. Casa Kaz, spa. Um, I've sold her stuff before. K A seventeen seventy two is something with a K and spa. Uh, 
<laughs> Did I write it down wrong? Don't laugh. I'm just, my brain's obviously not working because I'm like, did I write the right thing down? It's, oh, KA17. Okay, I forgot the A. I had the wrong date. It's 1772. Carizia Spa. K A R I Z I A. See? Carizia Spa. Oh, her stuff's expensive. Carizia Spa. And that's obviously Quartz Crystal. Doris, you want the love you ring? I stuck it in the jewelry jar, honey, but. Oh. Hang on. Oh, I think this is you. Yours. It's a gift. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Wow. It's quartz crystal. Sterling. Curry's a spa. Yep, it's quartz crystal. Sterling. Gorgeous. The Sterling Bishop 15. All right, thank you, Shar. That's a cute little ring, Doris. No idea about that thing. That's a cute charm bracelet, Shar. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so on this. I actually like this a lot. Tiny little spring ring. To give my hands grief. Really pretty. 18 inches. Quartz heart. So I will start this. I'll start at 17. It's cheap. Carzia Spa. Carzia, K A R I Z A Spa. I think it's Italy, isn't it? Oops, I'm pressing on my computer board a little too hard. Gorgeous. 17 on that. Woo, these are like Savorsky. Who are these? They are Savorsky. So we got 17. Start on this Carriza Spa. Beautiful. That is beautiful quartz heart. Oh, this is beautiful. Gorgeous. I'm throwing this paparazzi set in there. Little costume ring. Anybody want that? I see Sharon at 17. It's a nice necklace. Ooh. These are costume, but damn, they're nice. Are they costume? I really don't know. I think so. But man, are they pretty. Yeah, I think these are costume. I don't see any marks on them. The little amethyst glass. I think they're just custom. He has this glass. Real pretty. Real pretty. I don't see anybody else. I see Doris at 17. 
on the Carissa spoon. We'll put those amethyst glass earrings in there. I'm gonna start calling this for Sharon. Going once, going twice. Last call. And so to Sharon at 17. Thank you, sweet. It's really pretty. Good maker too. Her stuff goes for pretty high dollar, but don't mean that's what I'm gonna sell them for. I mean, I wouldn't pay it. Some labels I'll pay for. Okay. Some labels I will. Some makers I will pay for. Other things, no. I think I'm more guilty of that in clothing. Let's see if I got any matches in here. This is a money clip. It does have initials, but who cares if you want to use it? It is a Anson. It's a money clip. Bags, which I need desperately. This is costume. Really pretty silver tone. It's like, um, yeah, pretty. This will get tangled mercilessly if I just drop it in there. So we're not just going to drop it in there. Look for the other one of these. See if I can come up with sets. You don't look sterling to me. There's stuff under the, you know, the flap is. I don't know. I don't think that's sterling. It, it might be. I don't know. It's a pendant. Ooh, these are pretty. Very pretty costume glass a vintage I don't know if that's Christmas or what we have one Laura Birch ring Oh, this Beth Ann's copper leaves. I think that's it. And this box is empty except for little pieces that are just random little pieces and single earrings. And you can go back in there. I didn't find both these earrings, so you wait. Okay. We're ready to do this, guys. We're ready to finish this off. This is Sterling needs a mate. This needs a mate. All right. This is a Kremitz, and I have not tested it. It it could be gold filled. It could be gold. The pen is not though. The pen is not, but it is Kremitz. Put that in there. Just one earring. That's so sad. That's so partiness. Oh, that box. I just had it in my hot little hand. There you go. This is cute. Looks silver tone. Lobster claw. Let's make sure it closes properly. And it does not. It just flops open. So that's craft. Craft. Pretty. Wooden with Jesus. Really pretty cedar wood, huh? Pretty cross. This is gorgeous. This is an enhancer. Look at all those marquee stones and round stones. Pretty. Single earring. Okay. This is very old.
This is Limoges, France. And those are um, flowers and stuff in her hair. That's not color loss. <laughs> Just so you know. Because <laughs> inquiring minds want to know. This is very old. Very old. Okay. Oh, Sharon Scott came back. I don't know that I had called it before you said that or not. Sharon, are you registered, honey? Do I have your information? I know a couple people did send over their data because I saw the emails come through. Okay. I have horse lover. There we go. I don't see you, Sharon Scott. Mickey Hunter, you either, if you guys are welcome to hang out, but if you want to bid, um, you're going to need to register before you bid. Okay, so my email is Melly's Jewelry Box at gmail.com. And you know the same thing everybody needs um, your YouTube name, your real name, your full address, and your PayPal email. All right. All right, so in this one, it's a very small old Limoges pendant. It does need a bail. So I'm going to start this low because even it's very, very old. It is porcelain. Don't know what that back is. They typically used a lot of brass back then. Yeah, it's brass. Um, it is signed. So I'll start this one. Uh, do the size. I'll just start this low. I don't know the age. Could be antique. Could be just vintage. I don't know. There's no way to tell. That mark has been around a long time. The red and green, that's been around. So, I don't know. It's old. It's at very least very vintage. Could be older. Don't know. On the Limoges. 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 I'm looking. Any of the random boxes I haven't attacked yet. <laughs> Yes, but not today. I'm going to stop. I'm hungry. Stirring. Oh, this is not sterling. No, this is vintage. It's maybe brass. It's Limoges porcelain. No, it's not sterling. It's Limoges porcelain. And that's probably brass, honey. No, they wouldn't have been using sterling back then. Not on this. Not for this. On the Limoges. I'm going to pop it in here. And just call it a pass. Because my back hurts. Alright. You guys have watched me put stuff in here. Let's fill it up. Shall we? Let's fill it up. Yep. 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 Let's fill it up. What do I got? We have that Yetakite necklace from Tanya. We have the Jewel Cade Queen Bee bracelet, Jewel Cade. I'm looking. This is a lot that I was going to put on District. It's Bone and Brass Bangle. It is a silver tone and gold tone David German wannabe. It's a beautiful, um, what's her name? Sophia, Leah Sophia, two tone bracelet. I wore the death out of that. Big copper bangle. 
This is glass, sea glass, and glass necklace. These are beautiful. I think they're star because the star on the back. They're not signed, but I think that's what that is. These are cool. That's a pair. And the big gold tone button earrings. Let's start this, um, the jewelry jar. Let's just start this at, um, let's start at 15 on the jewelry jar. I'm going to keep filling it. This is Ann Klein. This is. I forget who this is, but I thought this was signed. This is Ann Taylor. Really, really nice. Really nice Ann Taylor. And then we've got an owl brooch. We've got, oh, this is so nice. This is a loft and it's stone. It's reversible and it's stone. A really nice chain. It's got the dots. And this is reversible and this is stone. Man, it's ice cold. It is stone. It's like a purpley and like this really pretty um, jade color. Was it jade? Not making it to jade. So I'm going to say... Who knows? It could be an amethyst, could be some type of just quartz. The green went to jade. Okay. The purple didn't go to jade, but the green did on this lock piece. I see Sharon at 20. I love that lock piece. Nice and long, too. What else is in here? Here's that other earring. So you do have the other star. A real pretty brooch. Oops. Let's lock that thing. Make sure it is lockable. If it's not, I'll toss it. Oh, it was. There it goes. It's locked. Okay. See Daisy at 21. This is actually, I think, was that wood or stone? Feels like stone. Yeah, it's a way it's above what's sort of like a tourmaline or something. And it signs something. I think it just says enough. Elizabeth, what does that say? Aaron Aaron I E R I N I G H. But stone and then glass, I mean gold tone, little beads. That ah, don't fall. Oh, these are my buttons. I did bring the buttons. They're nice buttons. Let's see what else we got. See Daisy at 21. We got this kitty cat with a fishbowl brooch. We got Napier earrings on the card. Fantastic, fantastic, big costume. Ah. Pearls and chain. I'm digging it. I'm getting. I'm getting stuff out of her. Alexandra, are you registered, honey? Do you send me your information to Melly's jewelry jar? Oh, it's box, not jar. Sorry. Uh, and just send your YouTube name, real name, address, and PayPal email. And you need to do that before you can bid. I have no way to bill you. I have no way to invoice you if you do win an auction. So I need that before. And let me check and see if I need to apologize if I already have it. Nope, I don't. I don't have it. So you do that, Alexandra. I see Daisy at 24. Oh, what else we got?
these are dyed stone vintage earrings. I think these were these sterling. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know for sure. This I think is like a moss agate. It's not on sterling. So it's got the pearls and the moss agate. Really pretty. And this is cool. Very mid-century modern copper. It's got the curve. See how that's made? Yeah, it's mid-century on that one. And these are just cool. They're just painted metal. They're like cold painted metal. And they're just cool. They're neat. They're lightweight. They don't weigh a lot. That they're fun. They go with some turquoise. They just, they're cool. So that's full. I see 24 at Daisy. I'll keep the shipping as low as I can. I'm probably using, they call it cubic um, square foot shipping, and it's about the least expensive. So that's probably going to be two and a half pounds or so. So it's probably, I'm going to say eight and change. Not a big deal. Probably $8 and change. Not real bad. Could be in the $7 range. Depends on where you're at. As I'm in Florida. I see Sharon at 25. Thank you, guys. Should I sweeten the pot? You keep in, I'll sweeten the pot. What do we got? This is cool. It's a Mackenzie's Child <laughs> change purse. Here's her label. Don't ask. I like, I have two change purses upstairs I just bought. I think this is an unsigned Roger Lee, uh, Robert Lee Morris. I do. Because he did sell like on the corner of the street. These All these studio artists before they got, you know, studios and to move into and stuff. Because look at this. Oh, how that's done. See, that goes flat here and how it's seamless. I attribute this to R R L um, to Roger, Robert Lee Morris. I do. I feel confident saying I can attribute that to him all day long. All day long. Not signed. This is pretty. I don't usually like things on ribbon. This ribbon's really clean. And these are um, acrylic, but you want them to be because they'd be too heavy otherwise. It's just a real mod look. Just a real clean, modern look. It's got a pretty gemstone hanging at the end. Just a real clean. It's a good look. It's not It's not real frou-frou. It's a very modern look. It looks good on. It's one of those that looks better on than it does, like, in the package on the rack. It's funny how clothes and jewelry are that way. They look good on, look like crap on the rack. Or look great on the rack, I look terrible on. I don't know if I can fit anything else in there without disaster. We will try. Ooh, I love this. This is lightweight. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I think this is um, acrylic. I don't think this is because it's really light. Oh, I can't see it. plastic bags over the top of it. No, it's glass. Okay. Okay. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Let's see. Daisy at 26. There you go. There's a ring to bling bling with it. I thought it kind of went with the black. It's a stretchy ring. But it's pretty. I thought it went nice with the blingy black. This is drop dead gorgeous. I think it's this White House Black Market, if I remember correctly. Or maybe not. Yeah. Yep. This is White House Black Market. Beautiful. All glass. Absolutely stunning. And that is gorgeous. 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Probably way too much and kill you on shipping. I'll get the cheapest I can. But it's cheaper to do the, the cubic than it is the flat rate. The flat rate they eat you alive. Unless you can do the little box. And even that's what, eight sixty now or something stupid. At Daisy at thirty one. Appreciate you guys. I'm checking to see if I'm any registering folks. No. And I see you or day and I, I, I see a couple of people you don't email me, Angela, so I will Check your emails when I wrap up here. Walgreens says, Happy Easter! Earn $7 rewards on $30. Oh, thank you, Jim is Jules. She subscribed. Thank you. If you guys haven't hit like, um, the like button, I would appreciate that. You know what it is? You have to be um, you have to be signed in to like subscribe or, or to like thumbs up people. I think that's why a lot of people don't do it. They're not logged in to YouTube. They don't want to have to go log in. Maybe they're at work and they can't log in. I don't know, but either way. Oh, I got to get up and move. <laughs> this dress is a little bit big. <laughs> it's okay. It feels good. It feels good. I see Daisy at 36, looking for 37 or better. For the monster jewelry jar. It's a good one. You guys are getting a good deal. I'm going to start bagging it. That glass would just add too much weight. I mean, if you want it, fine, but it's going to add a lot of weight. I might start doing some hard goods. Maybe I'll do that on Sundays. That might be fine. I see Daisy's at 36. Thank you. Yes, Chris, my cup spilleth over. Definitely. Got the Napier. The kitty kitty brooch. Pretty brooch. Stone. Star Vintage. Loft Stone and Jade. Real Brass. Not mid, mid century modern. More Brass. Amazing Ann Taylor. And pine glass and sea glass. And Sharon's out. I'm going to start calling this down for Daisy. And we got Daisy at 36 going once. Got Daisy at 36 going twice. And last call. And boom. So today's is. Oh, it's as heavy as hell, honey. For $36. It's got to be five or six pounds. It's a beast. Uh-oh. I was going to hit the wrong button. Oh, it didn't come on. Yeah, you hit the wrong button, psycho. Psycho. Oh, that will fall off there. Hey, no, it's not too bad. Two pounds, 16 ounces. So it's going to be three pounds because it was 15.9. But so, yeah, three pounds. Plus the other three little things. So it'll be, yeah. A little bit over three pounds. No big deal. No big deal. Thank you very much for your bids, everyone, and congratulations, Daisy. It's a great buy at 36. And lighten my load around here. Empty some bags. Guys, I'm going to wrap up and take a little been around here kind of start organizing a little bit on um, these boxes and i'm frying chicken so i'm making fried chicken <gasps> oh what's this sweet potato salad i need time to cool what time is it 4 30 it'll be close it'll be close i make potato salad and fried chicken so i hope you guys have a great afternoon i appreciate you guys being here and congratulations everyone on your winnings and thank you so much for just hanging out if you haven't done so, hit your thumbs up before you leave. And then I might do a recording during the week, whatever. But I'll go ahead and take care of your invoicing tomorrow and try to get these shipped before I do any other shows to add to it. Because I have a lot already because I have like three, four different things that I did that are all combined shipping. So 
Bye, guys. Be kind yourselves. Be kind to each other. And happy Easter. Take care now. Bye.